hey guys how's it going um so in this video i just want to quickly show you how to read a a text file uh, as a data frame without using the dot uh, text file or dot text method in spark so without further ado let's get started um so for example i've got this text file here uh, it's a dot txt file and I uh, have this uh, a character a pipe as a delimiter so it's pipe delimited so I've created a session here um, so I created a trait session uh, where a spark session is defined the reason for this is because I don't want to um, as you can see here in my Spark job uh, package, I've got different uh, Spark application I'm working with. So I don't want to be creating a Spark session in each of the applications. So instead of uh, creating a Spark session in each of the application, all I have to do is just mix this thread with the uh, object, uh, each of the application objects. So, for example, um, in this subject, what I'm going to do is mix, uh, mix it with the uh, Spark uh, session. So, the session traits mix with uh, session. Uh, so, you can see uh, it's importing uh, the session from com.stefin.session, which is here. So, um, now I have the Spark session available for me. So what I want to do is create a data frame equal to df equal to Spark session dot. Um, so I'm going to specify the format as CSV dot read dot format CSV. So um, since we are going, we are not um, um, reading a CSV file per se. We have to specify the delimiter, and uh, so because the um, the text file has a delimiter y. So if we are going to create a data frame out of the text file we have to specify a particular delimiter that Spark is going to use to um, delimit the uh, data within the text file. So we can do option uh, delimiter. Delimiter is going to be pipe. Pipe and uh, another thing I want to specify is the header. So I'm going to specify another option here I'm going to specify header as true true and I'm going to load it and specify the URL load um, into get the part which is this one and uh, So and person person dot txt. So if I say dot df uh, dot df dot show, uh, so I should be able to get the data frame. Um, okay, I've made a mistake here. Should be delimiter instead of delimits. Okay, uh, hopefully, there is no error. Okay, as you can see, we are, we are able to get the data frame. Um, so, for um, another thing you can do instead of writing this option two times, what you can do is uh, here specify options and uh, use map map we just basically do the same thing but it's reduced the code the uh, number of characters uh, you write in your code so 
and it reduces the line of code basically. So map, um, we are going to use arrow to specify the map. Um, so the next uh, uh, key is header. So that will be uh, header. Then the value is true. So and uh, I will get rid of this. So that is it. So um, the CSV, the options map, the limits are header to. Um, so if I run it again. So you will see that we are going to get the same results. Okay, so if I scroll back up, you see we're still getting the same results. So yeah, that is it for this video guys. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, and leave a comment. I'll be um I'll see you in the next one. Uh, have a lovely day and goodbye.